Want to speak real Hindi from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at hindipod101.com. What's up everyone? This is Anuj from HindiPod101, the easiest, smartest, and the most fun way of learning Hindi online. In today's video, I'm going to talk about 10 phrases which will help you in case of an emergency. So let's begin. Jaldi se police ko bulao. Call the police immediately. Jaldi se police ko bulao. Jaldi se police ko bulao. Call the police immediately. If you're in such sort of situation where you need the help of the police, you need to use this. Jaldi se police ko bulao. Kya aapko bukhar hai? Do you have a fever? Next phrase is Kya aapko bukhar hai? Kya aapko bukhar hai? Do you have a fever? Bukhar is fever. So if you want to ask someone whether the person is sick, then you can ask this. Kya aapko bukhar hai? Mera passport gum ho gaya hai. I have lost my passport. Ah, this can be a scary situation. Mera passport gum ho gaya hai. Mera passport gum ho gaya hai. I have lost my passport. I hope that this doesn't happen to you, but if you are in India and you have lost your password, then this will be the way to convey this to someone who doesn't understand your language. Mera passport gum ho gaya hai. I have lost my passport. Mujhe lag raha hai ki maine kuch galat kha liya hai. I think I have eaten something bad. Okay, if you have a stomach upset by eating local food, then you can use this. Mujhe lag raha hai ki maine kuch galat kha liya hai. Mujhe lag raha hai ki maine kuch galat kha liya hai. I think I have eaten something bad. Well, if your stomach is not adaptive to spicy food, oily food, this might happen to you when you are traveling to India. Mujhe doctor ki zarurat hai. I need a doctor. Another phrase is, Mujhe doctor ki zarurat hai. Mujhe doctor ki zarurat hai. I need the help of a doctor. If you are sick or you need any kind of medication, you can use this phrase. Main apne hotel jane ka rasta bhool gaya hu. I have lost the way to go back to my hotel. Okay, if you have lost the way to your hotel, then this is the way to convey it to someone else. Main apne hotel jane ka rasta bhool gaya hu. Main apne hotel jane ka rasta bhool gaya hu. I have lost the way to go back to my hotel. Kya aap meri madad kar sakte hai? Can you help me? Another phrase is, Kya aap meri madad kar sakte hai? Kya aap meri madad kar sakte hai? Can you help me? If you are stuck somewhere and need someone's help, you need to say, Kya aap meri madad kar sakte hai? Main ko gaya hu. I am lost. If you are lost, then this is the phrase. Main kho gaya hu. Main kho gaya hu. I am lost. Simple, but it will be effective if you are lost in a foreign country. Mujhe ambulance chahiye. I need an ambulance. Mujhe ambulance chahiye. I need an ambulance. Mujhe ambulance chahiye. I need an ambulance. Mujhe chot lag gai hai. I have injured myself. Another phrase is Mujhe chot lag gai hai. Mujhe chot lag gai hai. I have injured myself. If you have met an accident unfortunately or anything has happened to you then you need to use this sentence Mujhe chot lag gai hai. Well, these were the phrases which you can use in case of an emergency. They will be helpful, but 
I wish you don't have to face any sort of situation where you need these phrases. That's all from this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and to learn new phrases. If you have any sort of comments, any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. I'll be back with more such videos. Till then, stay tuned. Take care of yourself. Goodbye. Want to speak real Hindi from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at hindipod101.com. Today, traditional classrooms are no longer the only or even best place to learn a new language. More and more people are finding that they can easily learn a language just about anywhere they have a few minutes of spare time, including their daily commute to work. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the average American spends over 50 minutes a day commuting to and from work, or over 300 hours a year. But rather than simply sitting in traffic and wasting the time, you can instead use your daily commute to literally learn a new language in just a few short months. Our language learning program has specialized learning tools that you can use on your commute to and from the office to master a language in your spare time. What are some reasons traditional classroom settings just aren't the best option for most people in today's fast-paced world? Difficulty getting to and from class. Learning on someone else's schedule very expensive and may cost thousands of dollars to complete. Can take years to finally complete classes and learn the language. The simple truth is the traditional classroom instruction is simply not a viable option for most people in today's very fast-paced, time-starved world. Now, let's examine how you can learn a language faster, more easily, and at far less expense than traditional classes, all during your commute to work and back home again. Three reasons your daily commute can help you master a language in the next year. On average, Americans spend more than 300 hours per year commuting. During the commute to and from work, over six hours a week is completely wasted. The time isn't used to help you reach any goals or objectives. But thanks to online language learning platforms with audiobooks and other resources that you can access during your commute, you can easily transform wasted time into progress toward learning a new language. With over 300 hours available annually, your daily commute could provide you with enough time to gain significant skills in a new language each and every year. Increase your earning potential while commuting to work. How would you like to transform all those spare commuting hours each week into more money for a new car, house, or even a dream vacation? According to research, someone making $30,000 per year can boost their annual income by $600 or more per year by learning a second language. Over the course of a lifetime, that's a significant amount. How? From work-at-home translation jobs to working overseas, there are many ways to leverage your second language into more money in your bank account. So instead of wasting your precious time, you can make your commute more productive and eventually profitable. The more languages you learn, the higher your income potential. Repetition is key to mastering a new language. Not sure if it's practical to learn another language while commuting to and from work each day? Well, not only is it possible, learning in your car on the way to and from work each day can actually help you learn and master any language quickly. The simple truth is that repetition is absolutely vital to truly internalizing and mastering any language. So, if you listen to audiobooks or even audio lessons on your commute to work and then repeat the same lesson on your commute home, the information is more likely to be locked in to your long-term memory. Our language learning program has been helping people learn and master language in the comfort of their home, during their daily commute, or any place they have a few spare minutes of time. Here are five features of our program that make it easy to learn a new language while commuting to and from work. First, the largest collection of audio lessons on the planet by native speaker instructors. Every single week, native speaker instructors create new audio lessons. All lessons are short, to the point, and guaranteed to improve your mastery of a language. Second, the word of the day. Simply exposing yourself to new information and vocabulary terms helps increase your fluency and mastery of your target language. So every single day, check out the word of the day and memorize it during your commute. It's a quick and easy way to boost your vocabulary every day. Third, daily dose mini lessons. Have a short commute to work but still want to make progress towards learning more than just vocabulary? Not a problem. Our daily dose mini lessons are one minute or less and are designed to improve your grammar, conversations, and pronunciation. 
4th, all content is available on a convenient mobile app. You don't need a PC or tablet to learn during your daily commute. Instead, all of our lessons, tools, and resources are available 24-7 via our mobile app. That means you can access all of our audio lessons and other tools during your commute to work or anytime you have a few spare minutes. Fifth, audiobooks and other supplemental resources. In addition to the world's largest online collection of HD audio lessons, our language learning program has audiobooks to enhance your understanding and make it more convenient than ever to learn a language during your commute. The average commute time of most Americans is over 300 hours each year, and it's the perfect opportunity to learn and master a new language. Use the dead time during your daily commute to learn a new language and potentially boost your lifetime earnings. Whatever your motivation, our language learning program has the tools and resources necessary to help you learn a new language each year during your commute to and from work. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! In this series, we're going to learn basic Hindi expressions. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Hindi. There are only two sentences you need to know. Namaste. Mera naam Prerna hai. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Hi, my name is Prerna. Nice to meet you. Start by saying Namaste. Then say Mera naam. Then your name. And then say Hey. Please repeat after me. Namaste. Mera naam prerna hai. Finally, say aap se milkar khushi hui. Together we have Namaste. Mera naam prerna hai. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Let's take a closer look at the first sentence. The first word is Namaste. Namaste in Hindi is equivalent to hello, which can be used at any time of the day. Next is Mera. The word Mera means my. This is a way to refer to yourself, which can be used by both men and women. Next, we have Naam. The word Naam means name. Then you say your name. And finally, we have He. He is attached to the end of the sentence and literally means to exist. In the first sentence, we have the construction Mera plus Naam plus your name plus He. The structure of simple Hindi sentences is different from English. In Hindi, the word order is subject, object, verb. The second sentence we have is Aap se milkar khushi hui. Aap se milkar khushi hui can be used by both men and women. It means, nice to meet you. It's used when meeting someone for the first time. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Now it's time for Prerna's points. Indian people don't generally shake hands. You're better off using the namaste gesture. However, in a business situation, you might want to use a handshake. Shaking hands is more common in big cities where Western customs are more familiar. In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Hindi. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use good manners when we thank people. Kya aap hain? Are you ready? To chaliye shuru kare. So let's begin. There are several ways to thank someone. But let's start with the easiest. It's just one word. Dhanyavad. Dhanyavad. Dhanyavad means thank you. You can emphasize dhanyavad by adding pohot, which means very much. So it becomes pohot dhanyavad. Pohot dhanyavad. In Hindi, there are other ways to express one's gratitude. Dhanyavad comes from Sanskrit and it sounds quite formal. That's why some people prefer to use Urdu expressions, which are felt to be more colloquial. A more colloquial expression for thank you in Hindi is shukriya. Shukriya can also be preceded by pohot, 
which means very much bahut shukriya bahut shukriya so now you have learned how to say thank you in hindi but how will you reply if someone else says thank you to you in hindi your welcome is sometimes expressed as swagat hai the expression swagat hai means welcome swagat hai you can also respond to someone who has thanked you by using another expression this is koi baat nahi which literally means it's nothing koi baat nahi so when someone says dhanyawad to you you can simply reply with swagat hai or koi baat nahi now it's time for prerna's points just as with the expressions for thank you and please indians do not always use you welcome in everyday situations it's a concept literally translated from english native speakers often show politeness simply by using polite pronouns and verb forms while speaking in the last lesson we learned how to show gratitude to people by saying dhanyawad in this lesson we learn some of the most common greetings used in india kya aap taiyar hain are you ready to chaliye shuru kare so let's begin let's start with a greeting you are sure to have heard before namaste this is a word that is so closely associated with india and indian culture that it has become famous all over the world now namaste namaste the word namaste is made out of two sanskrit words nama and te which have been joined to mean i salute you we use namaste as a formal as well as a friendly greeting it's used when people meet at any time of the day morning noon or evening a slightly more formal variation on namaste which you may or may not have heard before is namaskar now namaskar use this and you'll surely impress your indian friends in hindi using different greetings for each time of the day is not very common when talking with friends we usually just use the english phrases but there are equivalent hindi versions they are just not used that often if you meet someone before noon you can say suprabhat suprabhat for later in the day you can say shubh sandhya shubh sandhya but for most of the time you can just say namaste and not worry about it as we learn in this lesson namaste can mean both hello and goodbye however this is not the only way of saying goodbye in hindi a parting expression that we can use for all occasions is fir milenge which means see you fir milenge fir milenge the first word fir means again and the second word milenge means we will meet let's look at one more expression alvida alvida is an urdu word which means goodbye alvida it is an appropriate choice when parting for a long time now it's time for prerna's points the easiest way of saying your goodbyes in hindi is by using namaste take a slight bow with folded hands and say namaste namaste and namaskar both come from sanskrit and mean something like i honor you or i bow to you in the last lesson we learned the most common forms of greeting in hindi do you remember them in this lesson we are going to learn a very useful phrase do you speak english if you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in english this phrase can be a life saver and because you are asking it in hindi you can be sure that everyone will understand what you are saying even if their answer is no let's start with a formal expression first though we need to make a note that in hindi verbs change depending on the number and gender of the noun so when asking a man if he speaks english you would say kya aap angrezi bolte hain kya aap angrezi bolte hain but to ask a woman if she speaks english you would say kya aap angrezi bolti hain kya aap angrezi bolti hain let's have a closer look at this sentence by breaking it down kya kya is a question marker which comes at the beginning of the sentence next is aap aap means 
you. This is the respectful word for you and is used in formal situations. You should always use it with people you don't know or with elders. Next we have Angrezi. Angrezi means English. Next is Bolte. Bolte means to speak. It is used when the subject is masculine. We use Bolti when the subject is feminine. And finally, He. He is the sentence ending particle used with a formal U. Once more, for man, it's Kya aap Angrezi bolte hain? Kya aap Angrezi bolte hain? And for women, Kya aap Angrezi bolti hain? Kya aap Angrezi bolti hain? We are now going to make this sentence informal. First, we need to use the informal version of you, which is tum. If we change the word for you, we will also change the sentence ending particle to ho. Everything else stays the same. When speaking to younger people, it's acceptable to use the informal form. In which case, you will say, Kya tum angrezi bolte ho? to ask a young man or a boy. Or, Kya tum angrezi bolte ho? to ask a young woman or a girl. Again, for a boy, Kya tum angrezi bolte ho? And for a girl, Kya tum angrezi bolti ho? The responses you will receive could be one of these three. Ha. Yes. Ha. Thodi bohat. A little. Thodi bohat. Nahi. No, I don't. Nahi. Now, let's review one more time. To ask a man in a formal situation if he knows English, we would say, Kya aap angrezi bolte hain? To ask a woman in a formal situation if she knows English, we would say, Kya aap angrezi bolte hain? To ask a man in an informal situation if he knows English, we would say, Kya tum angrezi bolte ho? To ask a woman in an informal situation if she knows English, we would say, Kya tum angrezi bolte ho? Now it's time for Prerna's points. India was once, for a long time, part of the British Empire. And so today, English is one of the national languages of India. When visiting tourist areas, you are sure to meet many people who can communicate with you in English. Still, a large part of the population can't understand English. And you can never go wrong if you learn the local language. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to apologize in Hindi. There are a number of ways to apologize. But in a formal situation, you should use Maaf kijiye. Maaf kijiye. The first word, maaf, literally means forgive. And kijiye is a polite form of the verb meaning please do. Thus, this expression actually means something like forgive me, please. Now let's hear it again. Maaf kijiye. You use maaf kijiye when you might have said or done something offensive, wrong or embarrassing. Sometimes you'll also hear people say Shama kijiye. Shama kijiye. This means please excuse me or I'm sorry. In Hindi, we have many synonyms for a single expression, usually a more colloquial Urdu form and a Sanskrit form, which is used in more formal situations. This is the case with I'm sorry as well. Maaf kijiye is the Urdu form and the corresponding Sanskrit form in Hindi is Shama kijiye. The informal way to say I'm sorry is Maaf karo. Maaf karo. Similarly, we could also say Shama karo. Shama karo. Let's review. Maaf kijiye or Shama kijiye is a formal I'm sorry or excuse me. Maaf karo or Shama karo is the informal I'm sorry or excuse me. These are all versatile phrases with a few different meanings depending on the situation. Whether you are trying to get someone's attention for a question, or making your way through a crowded area, or apologizing for stepping on someone's foot, these are all phrases you could use. Now, what if someone says maaf kijiye or shama kijiye to you after having done something wrong? How would you respond? In this case, 
यू कुड से कोई बात नहीं कोई बात नहीं दिस मीन्स समथिंग लाइक इट डजेंट मैटर कोई बात नहीं नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर प्रेरणा पॉइंट्स इफ समन बम्स इन टू यू ऑन द स्ट्रीट्स इन इंडिया डोंट एक्सपेक्ट एन एक्सक्यूज मी especially in the big cities big crowds are very common and so is bumping into each other indians are usually very friendly people but this does not seem like something worthy of an apology unless someone pushes you over so hard you fall on the ground keep walking when learning a new language we sometimes have a hard time with things like procrastination discouragement or failure But don't panic. With a good strategy, you'll be able to overcome these difficulties. Are you ready to discover the four habits of successful learners? Number 1. Optimize your time. When learning a language, it's important to dedicate time to your studies regularly, even if sometimes it's difficult. You're busy with school, work, family, or friends, but you can spread out your learning throughout the day. Study whenever you have small gaps of time in your busy schedule. This can be when you're on the metro, on your lunch break, or while you're exercising. Our podcast learning format fits perfectly into your tight schedule. Number 2, consistency with your chosen method. There are a lot of options when it comes to courses and learning materials. Switching from one method to another can confuse you and disrupt your progress. Focusing on one learning method will make a difference. Our method has been created and optimized by real teachers, so you can stick to it with confidence. Number 3, Use your language background. Many languages share some commonalities. You can find words that look or sound similar or even share the same grammar structure. A little bit of language background will give you an edge while learning. Number 4, study continuously. People are excited when they start learning a new language. The enthusiasm usually lasts until the first roadblock. This can lead to discouragement and procrastination. But don't burn yourself out. Learning a language is a marathon, not a sprint. Don't try to learn it all at once. Break things down into more digestible chunks. Learning step by step might feel slow, but it's an efficient way to learn a language. With patience, motivation, and good resources, you'll master the language. Remember, you can't learn a language overnight, but with motivation and these daily lessons, you'll be on the road to fluency. Give it a try now. Sign up for your account. Just click the link in the description. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.